I was thinking about this the other day. It's something we all get frustrated by and something we could all learn from as well. It's the powerless trap that we notice women falling into that we could do well to avoid ourselves. And sometimes we don't know we're playing the same game. It's when you're having these big political relationships in your life, when your central focus and your central relationship and how you operate is bigger than a person because you get frustrated at that thing not being able to give you what only a person can. Let me illustrate the dangers that men can fall into by conveying what we're all too familiar with in terms of what women do. Think of it this way. Back in the common old days, she used to have a man. She wasn't complaining about men, the plural, the group, the superstructure of men. She would complain to her individual man. She would complain to her man personally because her life was his life and vice versa. It was tactile. It was a lot more real than screaming into the void of all men and all women and never getting an answer back and never seeing your life improving. Simply just seeing time go by as you get increasingly more and more frustrated. But when she used to complain to her man, a man, and it was both their lives that they were both trying to work out for mutual benefit in a tactile sense, in a personal sense, he would try to fix it. Then if he did, she'd be happy or glibly speaking, she'd shut up. And then life would go on, even if it was temporarily. But now her relationship is with the biggest man, the government. He's the biggest alpha around. And through the government, she's having a relationship with all men. The concept of all men, not a man, men which is no personal relationship at all. And I would suggest we don't fall into the same trap of having a frustrated relationship with women in the plural, the group, the superstructure of women. Just as women seem to be having a relationship with the empire and men through it, I don't think it's in our best interests to live a happy individual personal life, your day-to-day, by having a similar relationship with women in the plural through the superstructure of government and politics. These political relationships that have started to become the backbone of our day-to-day lives, what we're interested in, what we grab the paper and read over coffees, um, what we talk to each other about, the problems we're trying to fix over the horizon, We're pulling ourselves further and further away from our own personal experiences in life. Again, I'm not talking about any woo-woo rubbish. I'm talking about why so many of us may be feeling a certain type of malaise and sort of a depressive grayness with no matter how much we try and fight the superstructure, the government, you know, the big thing. Because let's not forget, it feels heroic because it's so big. It feels like the the fight we should focus on because there is the source of the problem, the empire, women through the empire, politics, feminism, government, finance. But I would say we would do well to learn with the mistakes that women have made in their lives because they tend to always make the decisions that we follow. You know, we're the ones that read the terrain of women, and then modify ourselves in accordance to what women want. It doesn't work the other way around, unfortunately. So given the direction women seem to be following now, and we seem to be leaning in our own type of direction that sort of resembles a similar fashion, where they're fighting men and we're fighting women, um, I would just caution to look at what we're losing intimately in our lives, the kind of personal meaning. And I'll give you an example of what made me sort of ponder this the other day is that I just love illustrating and producing art. 
the tactile personal relationship I have with a paintbrush and canvas, a pencil and paper, is unmatched. And that meaning that I have in that personal relationship I do have cannot be touched by the overarching abstract concept of art itself. That is, I don't have a personal relationship with art. I have a personal relationship with the pencil in my hand, the paper in my hand, the paintbrush. Similarly, as with most group constructs and large overarching superstructures that I kind of rail against on my channel, I would say don't start throwing stones at that Goliath because more than often, like I've cited women's examples, they're fighting the universe. Nothing comes back. The less real and tactile it is, for me anyway, uh, the more it can tend to lobotomize you. I think most of women's frustration is they dearly want something more meaningful in their lives, but they're relating to their lives in such a depersonalized way. They're not having personal relationships. They're having political relationships. They're having relationships with superstructures, um, these big ideas and ideals and dogmas. And those things cannot give you answers back because they're nothing. They're not real. They're, they're organizational principles. They're places to go. Like I said, I um, think of MGTOW as a place to go and talk to certain like-minded individuals that I can have a mature conversation with. But I do not relate to politics, to groups. I relate to individuals because when you relate to superstructures, groups, ideals, dogmas, religions, they come to you scripted. I am not talking to a person. I may, I may as well just grab their pamphlet and read it. I really have no need nor desire to sort of be involved with them because I'm not talking to anybody. I'm not relating to anybody. Don't depersonalize your life, gentlemen. Don't focus on those aspects that depersonalize your life. And I've noticed that recently, women complaining about men in the plural, men complaining about women in the plural, and all of us avoiding each other. Not to say that we need to get involved with each other romantically or that we have to have any kind of relationship, but I'm talking about the psychological aspect of trying to relate meaningfully to depersonalize superstructures and groups and concepts and politics and all those sort of things. You can keep shouting at them. It energizes you and it feels like you're fighting Goliath. But, but after a while, how many times can you keep screaming into space with nothing coming back? It's a dead interaction. Women today are always frustrated because they're having this long distance relationship with all men and never a man. And again, I would reflect on this as men and not do the same thing. Confront the person in front of you. Talk to a man or if you choose to, a woman. Don't shout at all women about what you think in terms of red pill ideas and feel righteous about it, do that in the face of the woman in front of you. Be a, be a civil and decent human being, unless the opposite is called for, but stand up for your principles, your ethics, and your values to a person, not to women, to a woman, to the woman in front of you, to the man in front of you. Have a conversation with a friend, not the manosphere. Convey your principles to a real person, not abstract symbolism. So much of us are wasting our lives against a big illusory foe. The empire out there that you're addicted to fighting, that the bigger the foe out there, like all women, I think the more we're avoiding, the more intimacy we're avoiding in a good way even if you just want to be on your own. Like, the more your attention is always out there at abstractions, you could wake up one day and feel like you don't even know who you are. If you're always living your day-to-day -day life using binoculars instead of a mirror, 
one can understand why so many men, after a divorce, do the things they do to themselves, give up on life. Yes, fighting the empire feels heroic, meaningful, powerful, like the best thing to do, go right to the top. But that's the sophisticated trick, I'd say. Don't fall into the trap that women do of blaming all men, blaming the patriarchy, the wage gap, men are monsters. She will never get the answer she wants in her personal life. She will never find satisfaction in her personal life. Only a person you relate to in front of you can do that. The empire does not talk back. Anyway, something I thought was important. Don't fall into the same trap of politically having a relationship with the superstructure of women. Have a relationship with individuals. I hope that helped. Feel free to link and share my videos around and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. If you want to say thanks, there are donation options below this content. I really appreciate it. Cheers.